and I'm trying to figure out how to set up my phone on this tripod so you can see what I want to show you and not the tripod, which is interesting. Let's see. So sorry. It's kind of a new setup for me. And thankfully nobody's watching, so huh. No, I don't want a rotate device. Okay. Hmm. I want to talk about brushes today, but I also want <laughs> this phone to hold itself. <laughs> so I don't have to hold it. Hey everyone, if you're here, bear with me as I try to make this work. And I thought since Jackson's art in the UK, okay, I hope this leg of my tripod is not horribly in the way. Is there a chat? Okay. Hi, Sandy. Okay, I'm trying to do everything. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't want to rotate. <laughs> Wait, it's doing stuff. Okay, live chat. Let's see. Doesn't want to work with me, little friend. Hi, good morning. Good morning to everyone. <laughs> it's very challenging to film on my phone and have a good setup for you. And I don't know if we'll have to live leg. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> hey, so I wanted to talk about brushes, but I don't want this thing to be in the way. How can I get rid of you and still <laughs> hold my phone? <laughs> okay. Hi, Deb. Okay, I'm very sorry about this here. Um, <laughs> make it work, make it work. I don't know. Wait, let me try this another time. Okay, maybe like this. Hi, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Marie, Marieke? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk about, let me know if you are having any issues. Yeah, that mag, isn't it cute, Melissa? I actually colored it myself in this really lovely shop where they have these ceramic um, dishes that you can just paint. And then, of course, they put it in the... I don't know what it's called, the oven, where they put these things. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to talk about brushes because Jackson's, which is an online shop in the UK, if you're not familiar, they're having a brush sale. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about brushes and show you some of my favorites that are available on Jackson's. Now, this is impromptu, and I have kids in the house, so if I have to disappear or if there are interruptions, I'm really, really sorry, but... It's kind of the only way <laughs> I can do this and what I like about the live videos is that I can answer your questions if you have any so yeah let's see how it goes and I apologize if this will be um, yeah if if we'll have interruptions so I'll start with some of my kind of work courses brushes um, that's a little sketch there that I made okay we need light we need light. So, okay, here are some of my workhorses. Now, all of these brushes are available at Jackson's. So I think I have a link on all my videos below. Uh, yeah, it's an affiliate link. So if you purchase something using my link, I get a small commission. I'm very, very grateful. If you do that, it helps me a lot. And yeah, but just so you know. So I'll tell you which ones I love or used to love 
these ones are the Escoda. I have a bunch of Escoda uh, brushes. Escoda is a Spanish brand, I want to say, and they make wonderful brushes. I'm only familiar with their synthetic brushes, but those are great. So very, very affordable, and they really last a long time. So kind of the first ones that I put to the test are the Perla brushes. I'm sorry, the light is kind of bad. But you can see it's Perla. They have these white, well, it's white when you get it, when it's new, uh, bristles. And these are really nice if you want something that has some stiffness to it. Hi, Ellen! And you don't want something that absorbs a ton of water. So I think when I just started painting, I was really into uh, kind of painting florals in a certain way. And this works really well. I think it's a good brush if you're starting out because you probably have control over the amount of water you get in this brush. It doesn't absorb a ton. The next ones I'm going to show you, they absorb more water. So if you want a brush, kind of a workhorse, you can kind of use and abuse. Um, this is a good choice. They also have these in uh, travel form. They're travel brushes. Again, very, very affordable. Uh, if you think you'll be traveling with your brushes, then you might consider just buying the travel one. I use this also as it is. Uh, kind of a go-to size is a number 10 for me. Hi, Colorfully Optimistic. I love your name. <laughs> so this is a good option. I kind of brushes, but when I started painting, uh, I really enjoyed this. And great price, nice variety of sizes. I'll show you the ones that I have. I know it's kind of hard to get a good estimate of the size. Uh, I don't have any ruler next to me, but this is the bottom one is the number eight. Then we have the number 10. Then we have the 12 and the top one is 14. So Escoda Perla. Very nice brushes, uh, synthetic, inexpensive, do not hold a lot of uh, water. And the bristles are... Uh, they have a bit of like spring to them. They're not like super soft. Okay, next we have another Escoda line, which is the Versatil. Uh, if you watch Angela Fair on YouTube, she's fantastic. And I think this is, well, when I uh, watched, well, I still watch her videos, but when <laughs> I learned a lot from her and this is kind of her, her, her workhorse. This is the Escoda Versatil number 10 and as you can see it has these, it's a rigor brush so it has these longer bristles. This is really nice and what I like about this brush is that it makes a huge mesh, mess when you splatter with it and that's kind of the reason that I stopped using it but it's really lovely. You can get really expressive brush strokes with it and again, very inexpensive, you know, if you are kind of scared to ruin your brushes, you can grab a couple and kind of abuse them. <laughs> so this is a number 10, another really great workhorse for expressive uh, brush strokes. I have here the regular one, not the rigor. You can see this is a number 10, also versatile. This is the travel brush. Again, very, very good option for kind of a go-to workhorse brush. The Versatile is kind of in the middle between the Perla and the next brush I'm going to show you, which is the Ultimo from Escoda. And it holds more water than the Perla, but um, yeah, still not like crazy dripping, soaking wet. And really, really nice brush. Um, yeah, what else? I don't have any more from this line, I think, but it's also a really good choice. So this is a Skoda Versatile. These are all synthetic. All the brushes I'm showing you are synthetic. Oh, I actually have some super fancy brushes from <laughs> Jackson's also. Maybe we'll get to that. Okay, and now the last one from Skoda is their Ultimo line, which has the most absorbent and softest bristles. And this one again is a rigor. So this is number eight rigor. It has longer bristles, very, very soft, very absorb absorbent. And 
yeah, if you like soft brushes, this would be a good choice. This is a number eight rigger. Yeah, Deb, they're they're really beautiful brushes. I've used them so 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 much. Um, I just kind of moved away from them because I got some really you know like the special Tracy Lebenson brushes which I love, but these are such a great you know quality option, great price point. I can't you know recommend these enough. So this is number ten, the bottom one. And then this one comes in the Alvaro Castanet set. This is the number 14, Escoda Ultimo. And the set comes with another Big Mama, number 18. If you like to paint big, uh, these are nice options because they won't break the bank, but they still hold a lot of water. It's not exactly squirrel hair, but it's not so far from that. And it's like a fraction of the price. So this is Ultimo. I have uh, Ultimo also. No, I don't think I have that as a travel brush. But these are the ones I have. This is the 14. And they're all really, really lovely. Very soft. Very absorbent. Um, next, I want to show you... This is also a brush that I used a lot. If you like quill brushes, this is the Jackson's own brand. It's called Raven. And this one is the 3 slash 0 brush. Uh, again, this is kind of a workhorse for like a sketchbook. If you're not painting really, really big, then you might like this size, the 3 slash 0. And beautiful quill, very inexpensive, great option. Something pretty similar that they now carry is the Tintoretto. That's the top one, the Tintoretto brush number two slash zero. Uh, this is the 1407 line and they're very, very similar. Pretty similar. So if you like quill brushes, check out Jackson's Ravens or the Tintoretto. Speaking of quill brushes, so this is a really lovely option. This is the Travel Yes, you should. You should really try quill brushes. I love painting with them. So this is the Tintoretto Synthetico 1330, uh, 1337, sorry. This is the number two, and this is a travel brush. These are beautiful. It's not easy to find quill travel brushes, but these are a gorgeous, gorgeous option. And I have a set. From, that I bought from Agalo. Agalo, it's an Italian shop in Assisi, I think they are located, and they have these beautiful brush sets. I'll show you another one in a second. Yeah, travel brush, but Jackson also carries these, and I think they're on sale now. I'm not sure if they're, like, their entire brush line is on sale, but I have all the sizes, and I'll show you. I think the number two is great for details or like a small sketchbook. They hold a lot of water. They come to a very, very fine tip, as you can see. That makes them very versatile. So I'll just put them here so you can see the sizes. I wouldn't buy all of them. Um, but, you know, the I would say, I don't know, the two and the four are pretty similar. So... You know, there's no need for all of them. You could buy like a small one and a large one. Again, for what these are, I think the price is fantastic. So Tintoretto 1337. This is a travel brush. Beautiful. It's like metallic. And I use these now just like all the time. You see me in like my swatch videos. I use these because I love the shape. And these hold a lot of water, but if you use a small brush, it's not too much water. And these are quill brushes. They are gorgeous. Okay, this one's a little dry, so I won't try to close it so I don't ruin the bristles. Speaking of Tintoretto, this one is like one of my favorite current loves. This is their Synthetico Ambra. 897. This is the number six, 
and this is what I use at the kind of final stages of my paintings when I'm adding like little details. Where can I show you a painting? There, you saw it in yesterday's video, if you saw yesterday's video. So all of these lines here, like the fine lines, all these, here you can see some more, like all this brushwork, I use this brush, the Tintoretto 897, the number 6, it comes in more sizes, but this one is my favorite for details. So again, very inexpensive, beautiful brush. This is a dagger brush or sword brush. So it has, I'll show you when it's wet. It has, it comes to a super, super fine point and you can get really lovely expressive brush strokes with it. And I just love this brush. I think it's like such a good brush to have in your arsenal. I mean, look at this. Look at these crazy fine lines. So it's just like one hair. But then if you get it wet, you can also get like quite a bit of color deposited. So I love this brush. I can't recommend it enough. If you want a tool that will help you get these expressive brush strokes, um, I would suggest trying this and last I think now I have a couple of brushes I just want to show you they're not ones I use a lot because I don't really use techniques that require them but I'll show you so first of all this is the Tintoretto the same one that I showed you before the number eight so I'll just show you I don't use it a lot because for me it's like too big for how I like to use it so I use the number six and I use it almost every time I paint uh, but this is how the number eight looks. So it's quite a difference. Uh, you might love this size. And then the last brush I want to show you, which I love, but now I can't find actually the size that I want to show you, which is the one I use the most. Where did I put it? There's another size of this brush. There we go. So this is another set that I got I think for my birthday or something from Agalo and I think all these brushes are now available at Jackson's but I just got the set and it had these three brushes so this is again Tintoretto this is 1408 1408 Sintetico Vajo or Vajo Kazan and the size you can see the top one is 5 slash zero that's the smallest one and then wait I'll organize it by size my favorite one is actually this one the two slash zero it again I mean look at this it's like super fluffy it carries a lot of color but when I get it wet it kind of loses that fluffiness and it comes to this super super fine tip very versatile I just love these brushes they are so fun for little details for little lines and then the next size that I have is zero this one is pretty big I don't use it a lot I really like using this one and it's kind of uh, for me interchangeable these two so I really really love these these I just feel they're kind of unique brushes and I have seen that Agalo, also the shop I mentioned in Italy, they also have a travel version of this brush. And I think I'm going to have to uh, try and grab it. I don't think Jackson carries it. But, I mean, this, is, this would be such a wonderful brush to have in a travel format. So, yeah, these are just my favorite brushes. And I'll show you a couple more that you can find on Jackson's. I don't use them because I just don't use the techniques that they are good for. But this is a, just a really good workhorse if you like to use flat brushes or if you, you know, do like washes. This is a three quarter inch brush. This one is from Escoda with Versatil. If you remember, these are the fibers 
for the bristles that are kind of in the middle. They're quite absorbent, but not like crazy, crazy absorbent. And yeah, just a really good workhorse if you use flat brushes. And then Jackson's also have this Sky Stippler, the one inch one. You can see it has, this is also synthetic, but it has these kind of rough bristles, which are really great for like special effects. So I think they kind of use it for clouds and skies. Um, yeah, I haven't used this a lot. It's not my kind of thing, like these type of techniques, but uh, these are good brushes. And when I tried learning these specific techniques and see if they work for me, I really enjoyed using the brushes. But yeah, it's just not really something I use a lot. So questions. I'm shocked that my kids did not interrupt me. <laughs> Anyone going to grab something in the Jackson's brush sale? I bought a lot of my brushes at Jackson's. And if you are more in the mood for something different, unrelated to Jackson's, you know I am obsessed with my Tracy Levinson brush. I had to mention it. <laughs> so I also have a link for these... I don't know if in all my videos, but I'll try and look for it. Uh, but you don't need the link. If you want to try one of these, <laughs> yeah, you'll be shopping. <laughs> hi, hi. Who, who did I miss? Wait, Colligan? I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly and I didn't butcher it. Please forgive me. English is not my um, first language. <laughs> Enjoy shopping. Um, yeah, I have to say, try the Tintoretto brushes. Those are really, really fun. Or the Raven ones if you want quill brushes. And then the Escoda are just, they're just so reliable. They're just like good workhorses. I used these probably in the first years of my watercolor journey. These are mostly what I used. And yeah, now I just got very, very specific with my preferences. So this is not on Jackson's, but if you want a magic wand, this is from Tracy Lebenson, and this is my, like, the one brush. This is my, you know, lo not Lonely Island, <laughs> Only Island, <laughs> Deserted Island brush. <laughs> this is what I would take with me. This is the Wangai Orange Synthetic, and mine has four centimeter bristles. I think there are, I said it correct? Yay. <laughs> uh, I think they have some few options. So this is Tracy Lebenson. This is not on Jackson's. If you use my name, Irit, I-R-I-T, you get 20%, yeah, 20% uh, discount. Uh, Janina or Janina, I think you're in Germany, so I'm going to say Janina. You like your Skoda Perla? I like them too. I think they are such a great brush. I used mine heavily, 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 heavily. So this is a Tracy Lebenson brush. Now, speaking of something a bit more expensive... I just wanted to show you these. I think I also got them from Jackson's. These are the Jean Haynes Kolinsky Sable brushes. Hi, yellow sun, ocean. Oh, I love all those things. <laughs> so these are, this was a set that I bought really early on. There was another one, I think. I think it came with another one. Because I thought that if I had the most expensive brushes, I would paint better. <laughs> turns out, uh, yeah, that didn't work for me. But I think there was another small brush for this. I'm not sure. Like a number four or something. No. I don't know. Anyway, these two are are from Jean Haynes. These are made by Rosemary & Co. I think they're a UK brand. These are super, super expensive. They're nice. I don't think they're worth the price tag. Um, you know, this is sable brushes, so natural hair. They don't come to a fine point. Um, what do you mean, Melissa? <laughs> But, oh yeah, the expensive brushes, you become a master painter. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, yeah, so what can I tell you? I painted with these. I enjoyed them. 
I don't think they're worth the cash. I think both of these, I don't remember. I, somehow I remember there was another brush in this set. <laughs> Master. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's not the brush. <laughs> well, some things the brush can help you with, but but yeah, not, not with everything. So I think these two together were like, I don't know, like a hundred, 150 euros. Hi, Allison. Alabama, I've never been. Um, I don't want to tell you. Hi, what is your name? Els Chimes. It's great to have you here. So yeah, but if you want like sable brushes, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like all the other brushes that I showed you, I just think I haven't used the silver black velvet. Hold that thought for a second. So all these brushes that I showed you, they come to a finer tip than these ones, which in my opinion, just makes them more versatile. So, I, I, you know, I don't know. But if you love Jean Haynes and hi, Joan from Canada. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't think they're worth the money. I think you can buy so much, so many other wonderful things with the money that these would cost you. But that's just me. So the silver velvet brushes, I haven't tried them. I know everyone loves them, but when they kind of became a bit more, they're not so easy to find in Europe. I'll tell you that also. And I kind of switched to synthetic hair uh, when they became kind of all the rage. So I just didn't have a chance to use them and I probably won't use them because I'm just happy using uh, synthetic fibers. And I do feel that at the, in, at the moment, at the moment, all the words, I'm kind of happy with my go-to brushes, which are uh, Escoda. Escoda is from France. I don't know what French brand you mean, but um, not France, Spain. Escoda is from Spain. These are most of these brushes. And then my more recent love are the Tintoretto brushes, which are Italian. And yeah, if you had to pick one in this sale, I would say choose this one. The Ambra, number six size. That's my favorite. I just love it. It makes just wonderful, wonderful brush strokes. I don't know, for those of you that missed it, here. I think that's everything I wanted to say about the brushes. Um, tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Monday, I'm going to have a video showing the new, like kind of my new palette setup, which has this plastic insert in my perfect palette. If you're familiar with this, yes, the Pro Art Dagger Brush. It is exactly like the Pro Art Dagger Brush. Um, just the Pro Art one in Europe is not so easy to find. Here is mine. It is exactly the same. Where's my smaller one? It's here somewhere. Yeah, but the Tintoretto one, I think the bristles are exactly the same like the Pro Art one. I like the Tintoretto better. It's lighter and I just like the, the barrel more. This one has this kind of shiny brown barrel. This one has a beautiful <laughs> kind of a light taupey, not taupey, like a cream or buff titanium uh, barrel. So not barrel, handle. So to me, this one is just more aesthetically pleasing than the Pro Art, but the bristles, I mean, this one is a bigger one, but the bristles are the same. Uh, what was the question? I saw a question here. Do you have a brush holder for traveling you can recommend? I have this thing that this beautiful set that I bought from Agalo and it just comes in this holder but I have to tell you most of the time I like to travel with travel brushes so I don't need a special holder I don't need to be precious about them I can just toss them in my go-to um, little pencil case that I take with me when I travel so you can see, it still has some leftovers from my most recent. Ooh, there we go. I knew I had a travel brush. This is the number 10 Escoda <laughs> Ultimo. <laughs> yeah, I love the Escoda brushes. 
And so that's that's how I like to travel because I can just dump them here and I don't have to be precious about it. Uh, so no, sorry, I don't have uh, something I can recommend except if you want to travel with your brushes, buy travel brushes and don't have to worry about it because it's just very easy to have something like this and not worry about the bristles. Any more brush, brush questions? I have to say I really like the live chats and since my internet connection seem to tolerate this, uh, I think we should absolutely do more of this but with painting and not just talking. So yeah, let me know, not now in the chat, but do me a favor and if you want something like a weekly or every, you know, maybe like twice a month, a painting stream where we can come and paint and talk about painting and enjoy that. Um, let me know if you're interested and kind of give me if this time of day would work for you. Because anything later than now, um, I know some of you probably watching in the future. So we are now almost 4 p.m. Central European time. This is kind of as late as I can do because after that my light is not good. So I think this might be uh, like a good time because I know that you're I'm like really, really sorry for um, the people in Australia. For them it's probably the middle of the night, but I know for the North American peeps this might be a good time. Yes, yes, yes. Weekends? Weekends are better than weekdays? Probably, huh? Well, I would have to... <laughs> somehow deal with my kids but I can't complain right we haven't heard anything from them I don't know we have actually like my uh, six-year-old has a friend over so I guess that is keeping her occupied Ooh, Phoenix Arizona I was in Phoenix Arizona I think that was where I was the last time I was in the U.S. 2019 Perfect for Florida time. That is great. Good morning, world. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> it's afternoon here <laughs> in some parts of the world. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think maybe we can do start with like once a month and see. I would love to do a live stream. I think the only problem for me is maybe I have to kind of wait. Let's see. Should I should I appear <laughs> on camera? Am I willing to do that? Okay, let's see. I didn't check my look in the mirror today. Um, let's see. Okay, maybe I can just hold my phone. Hey, everyone. Oh, you can see my hand. Very good. <laughs> Hi. Okay, hair looking normal. Somehow. Semi-normal. Okay, so not the best angle. Okay, bear with me while I try to deal with this situation have this ah. okay thank you <laughs> thank you for the lovely comment by accident <laughs> oh my god <laughs> amateur hour <here. laughs> uh, good for the bloopers okay let me just try and set up my tripod it was hard enough hi it was hard enough to <laughs> try and deal with it <laughs> Don't want to hold it in my hand because then I'll just shake it all the time. Okay, I think already like 10 people left <laughs> after that. <laughs> hi, hi, hi everyone. So, sorry about the... Wait, okay, I can make my chair a bit higher. Sorry about the horrible angle. This is kind of very impromptu. Okay. So, ooh, 7.45. It's very, very early. Ah, uh, yeah, De Deb, you had a question? Raven... Are you talking about, wait, I'm just looking, repeat the quill brush you like. I really like the Raven ones from these, the Raven ones from, this is, no, this is the Tintoretto. So Jacksons have their own brushes um, with synthetic fibers, quill brushes called Raven. I really like those. And wait, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, Yanina. <laughs> And the Tintoretto also, Tintoretto also have Quill, this is the 1407, they're very, very similar. Probably the Raven is cheaper, 
because it's like Jackson's own brand. And yeah, uh, there isn't much of a difference. So you can see the top one is Raven. The bottom one may be a little bit more elegant with a gold thingy. If that's your thing, that's the Tintoretto one. But both good options. I would just go and look. Now they're having a sale, so take a look. See what you like. Um, but yeah, grab this one <laughs> and tell me later <laughs> if you like it. Uh, what size? Uh, depends what size you paint. Uh, this one kind of for like a small sketchbook. This is the Raven 3 slash 0. I don't know if you can see. I don't know. My phone probably won't like. Uh, this is kind of a good size. They hold a lot of water, so I don't like to use like huge um, quills. So this is the 3.0. It might be a bit small for you if you paint on anything bigger than letter size. Probably also for letter size, this might be a bit too small. So check their sizes. I don't know if I have... Do I have more? No, I don't think... Where are my quilts? What are you? Oh, this is the zero. Deb, if you're watching. So this is the three. The small one is the three slash zero, and the top one is a zero. So this would also be a good choice for size. Raven Jackson's. Check it out. I don't know. They used to have like worldwide free shipping. Hi, namaste. Um, from Jackson's, but I don't know if that's still the case. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Deb. I don't know if that's still the case with the shipping, but their shipping charges are usually quite normal. Raven Quill and the Tintoretto one perform pretty much the same weight. After the <laughs> wait, your comment disappeared. Uh, pretty much the same. I'm particularly interested in how evenly they release water and pigment. <sighs> I would say they're very comparable. These and the Ultimo from Escoda, they perform very, very similarly. It just kind of depends on, I think, also other factors. I just like the way quill brushes look, and I like my supplies to be pretty. So I really like them. And another thing that might, I don't know, make you decide one way or the other is the handle. So you can see, this is the Skoda Ultimo. It has a really long handle, and then the Raven brushes have very small, light handles. Is this good and this bad the other way around? I can't tell you. I kind of like the balance of these. I think especially if you paint maybe not so big, then the quill brushes are really nice. Also, let's mention again the Tintoretto travel brushes. Then, you know, they're not super expensive and I like painting with them. I don't feel like I'm sacrificing uh, everything, anything with a travel brush. And then I have the option to travel with them. They're very nice to store. So this, I would also consider this um, as a good option. These are the Tintoretto 1337. Um, yeah. Okay. Any more brush questions? Okay, so Escoda are too long. Yeah, I th I think I think I can absolutely see how for some people um, this would be too long. And also, you know, their travel brushes compared with the Tintoretto. This is a number 10 and this is a number 8. Uh, I don't know if I have here a smaller travel brush from Escoda, but there are much more. I mean, look at that. These, these are very, like, slick and elegant. These are much more bulky. Um, again, maybe you prefer to have something more, something bigger, heavier, your call. Okay, anything else I missed? Is mop and quill the same? I think so. I think, no, I'll tell you what I think. I think this, for example, might also be considered a mop brush, 
but the quill as far as I know always has like this type of structure but I'm not sure I think this the shape itself is usually the same uh, wait I saw a question about ugh, questions keep disappearing Tintoretto brush has a hole in the cap yes it does so your brushes can dry because you don't want to put the top on when it's completely dry because then it doesn't come to this fine tip and you might disturb the bristles when you close it. So you want to close the brush when it's a little bit moist. The Cazanel quill. I like the Cazanel also. Do they have those on Jackson's? Oh, my kid is calling me. Um, I just don't like the price tag. Hold on a second. Sorry, kids. Okay. 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 Hi, hi. Uh, sorry, I have to go because my kids need to eat some sweets. <laughs> Good parenting. <laughs> Demonstration of great parenting. <laughs> Um, okay, any last questions before I go? You can leave me a comment if you have more questions. Leave me a comment, not in the chat, but just in the video comments. Thanks, Joan. Snack time. Candy time. Um, <laughs> Mom duty. First, second, third, fourth. <laughs> yeah, so if I didn't uh, answer any questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get to them. And also, I know many of you are very, very kind, and you also answer each other's questions. So that obviously helps me a lot. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Check out the Jackson sales. They have a really nice range of brushes. And I have to go give chocolate <laughs> to my kid. <laughs> so <laughs> have a wonderful day. Yeah, please, uh, you know, do all the YouTube stuff, like all those things. It really, really helps. YouTube know to recommend my channel to new people. So yeah, um, have a great day. Take care, everyone. I'll see you on Monday with a palette update. So see you then. Bye. Yeah, I speak Hebrew and German and English at home. <laughs> it's very multiculti. <laughs> I like the real talk also, Ellen. It, feel, it makes me feel like I'm not always talking to the void. <laughs> Okay, they're screaming. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.